Okay, good morning my CXE students. Now, well this is an amateur recording, not anything at the professional level you normally see on YouTube. I'm doing this simply for the benefit of my students, my CXE students. Now, we're going to be learning some Pascal programming using a particular website. You can go to this website as onlinegdb.com, that's online good um, D behavior. Alright, so that's online G as in good, D as in delta, B as in bravo. So that's online gdb.com. When you go to that website, the first thing you see is this particular interface. Yeah? For matters of space, I'm going to put this arrow, click this arrow, so I have more space, broader screen where I can write my code and so forth. Now, over the right hand side, you can select the programming language you want to use. The programming language you want to use for CXE purposes, you have several that you can use CXE, except C language as well. All right, but we're going to use Pascal, right? Because Pascal was a programming language that CXE most recently was using on their syllabus. Currently, there's no required programming language to use, you can use basic language. You can use Pascal, you can use C, almost any programming like Python, almost any programming language you wish to use. Now, for these tutorials, we're focusing on Pascal language. Now, if you notice, the, the interface changes a bit, and you have the numbers on the left margin, 1 to 13, numbering the lines of code that you're going to write. And right here, we have a curly bracket, and a, a open curly bracket, and a closed cur um, curly bracket. And there's a program program hello so whenever we're writing pascal we have the program the, the word program the syntax program and then the name of the program and the by a semicolon then you write the code between the statements between between begin and end full stop that is where you write your code all right so going back over, over that quickly open curly brackets close curly brackets and this area is where you're making comments now let me go in a little bit more detail this time in the comments area you will notice it's of a different color it will not be executed comments aren't executed in Pascal language or any other language it's simply for the programmer to make little personal notes about his program right could be the other programmers to may look at your code sometime later on the coding actually begins at line number nine starting off with the program name so when you're writing pascal it's this term program that syntax right after that comes the name of the program hello all right and then semicolon you write your code between the lines that's a begin and end full stop so this program is supposed to display on the screen hello world to run the program you go up here and click this green button or link it says run that put a play sign on it click run and then the execution occurs on the screen area below here that says hello world here's the output hello world it says program finished with exit code zero press enter to exit console press enter and we're back out so for matters of space and practice now let us do this we're going to do some commenting a little bit later i'm going to delete all those comments i don't need those for the moment today we're going to look at this so here's a link to the portal to write the pascal code now the thing is you when you're writing code you can use your phone tablet laptop desktop a piece regular pc laptop desktop or you can use a phone or a tablet to write code even your smart tv if you go on the website right you can type on the screen or using a wireless keyboard the smart tv and you can execute your code all right so let's call this program first practice so I'll put first underscore practice now a general rule is that you do not put, put spaces between your program name run the code it runs hello world if i put a space here i'm going to get an error the program will not run 
so for most compilers here the errors here the errors coming up now errors program not running fatal compile compilation aborted what happens simply because of a space all right what happens is that when you are stating the name of your pascal program you are not supposed to have a space there to bring across an appearance of spacing an appearance of spacing you can use underscore so first practice all right so and they put a semicolon at the end all pascal statements end with a semicolon so let's write something to the screen now so i write good morning good morning and if you notice you say right line right line is the pascal term you use right or right line to put a message to the screen so you put right line open brackets i can even delete all of this again so you can see for good practice right line open brackets i just press open bracket and it automatically close the bracket for me single quote it automatically produce two one to open one to close and I say good morning students all right good morning students and I end that statement with a semicolon all right and I can run that and that should run no problem no itches all right good morning students perfectly fine so this is where we now start to write code I can also use write. I don't have to use write line I can also use write the same output would occur but there's a slight difference between right and right line and we'll get into that I think a video or two down the road we'll make sure to clarify the difference between right and right line okay so the name of our program is at line number one first practice then we begin and we write to the screen right then open brackets open single quote good morning students and even morning is spelled wrong here and it will produce it to the screen I guess you saw that as well it sent to the screen exactly as we had it there mistake and all let's put G in here it would send that to the screen mistake and all the same way we wrote it the same way it would put that to the screen so when we put right and single quote right good morning what the computer would do is that it would produce the output exactly as it is within the quotation marks all right okay now let's go a bit further because we also want a little bit of commenting today to get an idea of what commenting is all about if I want to make a comment line by line I can I can do it right here two forward slashes and say this line line states the name of the program I can write that the comment will not be executed the computer ignores it let's run the code the comment is for the programmer or for programmers who are looking at your code see doesn't affect the running of the program any at all it's for the programmers the person who are doing the coding so let me tap this over a bit so it looks a little bit more organized I should say and then I can comment another line here that says this is where the program starts yeah and I can see right here write hello sorry not write hello write good morning okay I can't even spell morning again morning to this screen good morning students good morning students to this screen so that's all that line number three is supposed to do and of course the end full stop I'm just commenting line by line just for practice showing you line four 
line 4 with the end full stop ends the program all coding stops alright so that's when they're commenting line by line they can use two forward slashes right but I want to get rid of all of this yes I just do that to show you to practice none of that really matters to me right now all right I'm just demonstrating to you how to comment line by line if we want to comment multiple lines that's where now we use curly brackets for example I can come here and I can open the curly brackets open curly braces and uh, if you notice right away all of this is grayed out this is the section to write code and I can come down notice it is it is on multiple lines still another line and I can close the square brackets here or I can close it here anywhere I choose to once it's afterward that's it right but if you notice because I've not closed it yet everything even the coding section here is still commenting commented so until I close and say this is where I want the, the, um, the commenting to stop this part becomes active again run the program good morning students it doesn't affect my code all right I can get out of here if I wish close or let, let, let me let me stop here let me for example close square um, curly brackets there and try to run the code notice the program there's nothing there to run really so it gives me an error all right so I can now get rid of all of this as a matter of just stating that listen I am not going to have any comments in my program so I don't need to put any forward slashes or any curly braces that's all that those are for all right so I said good morning good morning students let me say for example which class is this let us say you walk into a classroom and you say good morning students as most teachers would normally do which class is this now you're asking a question you're prompting the user to give you some input so you run the program this should run fine not a problem and good morning students which class is this but this is asking a question this is prompting the user to enter data now once you're going to enter data you have to have what is called variables all right now we're going to get into this next class about variables but let me show you something here var and let me put no I don't want to use that term and I put form colon string let's say it's your form class don't worry about what strings are yet they say form all right string it's not a string variable we will not do any calculation with string variables we can't so we now say read ln read line open bracket I will put form and we end the statement with a semicolon so now we we wrote a little program that greets the students of a class and then ask them which class is this and they will in turn respond so run the program and you see the output here good morning students which which class is this and if the cursor here blinking here it's expecting a response no because I put read before it will say good morning students which class is this and then just jump me out of the program but now it's expecting a response and I would say let's say I put 7 Pascal yeah Pascal that's the name of the class press enter the program runs and that's it that's simply as it is so this is just a simple demonstration today 
of commenting introducing it to the platform we're going to use for programming and how to get output through the computer all right and a little bit of input too next class we are going to look at this in more detail okay students have a good day i hope this video was pretty clear for you try to produce another video very soon we can teach it to do pascal or programming and so i'm going to do the flow charge trace tables all of those things in an easy manner because programming is not as difficult as a student may think it's more psychological than anything anything else but programming is rather easy all right so next time next video we'll see this is video number one pascal language have a good day guys